Good Monday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversation Daily News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Well, it's a brand new day, it's a brand new week, which means it's a brand new opportunity for you to do something amazing, and it all begins today. Of course, you have your news headlines coming up on this Monday. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Zaganovich, and in today's entertainment spotlight, you have been part of my conversation with lifestyle expert Tara Wellington, sharing some great tips for the entire family to get involved in Earth Day. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Severus Webb with your Monday headlines. In national news, U.S. rocked by three mass shootings during Easter weekend, two left dead. Authorities in South Carolina say they are investigating shooting at a nightclub in Hampton County early Sunday that left at least nine people injured. It was the second mass shooting in the state over the Easter holiday weekend and the third in the nation. The South Carolina shooting and one in Pittsburgh that left two minors dead early Sunday, at least 31 people injured. South Carolina's State Law Enforcement Division is investigating the early Sunday shooting at Kara's Lounge in Hampton County. The agency said in an email there were no reported fatalities. No information was immediately available on the severity of the injuries. Hampton County is roughly 80 miles west of Charleston. A phone call to the nightclub was not answered by the Associated Press. In Pittsburgh, meanwhile, two minors were killed and at least eight people were injured during a shooting at a house party. The shootings on Sunday come just a day after gunfire erupted at a busy mall in the South Carolina state capital of Columbia, about 90 miles north of where Sunday's nightclub shooting took place. Nine people were shot and five people were injured while trying to flee the scene at Columbiana Center, Columbia Police Chief said on Saturday. The victims range in age from 15 to 73, but none of those face life-threatening injuries. The three Easter weekend mass shootings are in addition to other shootings in recent days. Last week, a gunman opened fire in a New York subway car, injuring 10 people. A suspect was arrested the next day. Earlier this month, police said six people were killed and 12 others wounded in California during a gunfight between rival gangs as bars closed in a busy area downtown Commons shopping area around the state capitol. One week ago, a shooting inside a crowded nightclub in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, left a man and a woman dead and 10 people wounded, authorities said. And last month, 10 people were shot at a spring break party in Dallas and several others were injured as they tried to escape the gunfire. In more national news, for many, Easter Sunday marked a return to in-person worship. For many U.S. Christians, this past weekend marked the first time since 2019 that they gathered in person on Easter Sunday, a welcome chance to celebrate one of the year's holiest days side by side with fellow congregants. The pandemic erupted in the country in March 2020, just ahead of Easter, forcing many churches to resort to online or televised worship. Many continued to hold virtual services last spring after a deadly winter wave of the coronavirus and as vaccination campaigns were still ramping up. But this this year, more churches and organizations opened their doors for services with few COVID-19 restrictions in line with broader societal trends. In international news, Ukrainian defenders in Mariupol defy surrender or die demand. Ukrainian fighters holed up in a steel plant in the last known pocket of resistance inside the shattered city of Mariupol ignored a surrender-or-die ultimatum from the Russians on Sunday and held out against the capture of the strategically vital port. The fall of Mariupol, the site of a merciless seven-week siege that has reduced much of the city to a smoking ruin, would be Moscow's biggest victory of the war yet and free up troops to take part in a potentially climactic battle for control of Ukraine's industrial east. Moscow gave the defenders a midday deadline to surrender, saying those who laid down their arms were guaranteed to keep their lives. The Ukrainians rejected it, just as they did with previous ultimatums. In entertainment news, First Lady drama spotlights Roosevelt, Ford, Obama spouses. The First Lady presents three influential women, three acclaimed actors playing them, in a century of history encompassing wars, presidential scandal, and America's stubborn gender and race fault lines. The ambitious Showtime drama series proved an irresistible challenge for Oscar-winning director Susan Beer, while its subjects, Eleanor Roosevelt, Betty Ford, and Michelle Obama, each have a compelling and gripping story. The sum is even greater, Beer said, of her first biographical project. And finally, in entertainment news, 
for Fantastic Beast series, A Case of Diminishing Returns, says the Associated Press. Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore got off to a less than magical start in the first weekend in U.S. and Canadian theaters. The third installment in the Harry Potter spinoff opened to $43 million in North America, according to studio estimates on Sunday. That made the top five movies over the weekend. Number one, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore with $43 million. Number two, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with $30 million. Number three, The Lost City with $7 million. Number four, Everything Everywhere All at Once with $6 million. And number five, Father Stew with $6 million. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's on time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Tegenovich. Mary Ellen, take it away. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Explore fresh ways of observing your world. You may want to begin by finding ways to grow spiritually, or you may want to take chances and seize opportunities for fun. Either way, with a strong sense of confidence and security in your abil abilities, you can feel both motivated and assertive. You become willing to expand your horizons. Your basic needs are taken care of, so it becomes easier to contemplate integrating other desires into your life. Your world can grow because you have created a good foundation and it is solid. If you do not have this good foundation yet, begin rebuilding your foundation. Guidance from others that you see as successful. There are always successful people willing to mentor to others. You may have to ask more than once, just be polite and understand that all successful people are very busy. Today, be ready to branch out into unfamiliar territory as new challenges and opportunities emerge. And enjoy your day. We are part of my conversation coming up with lifestyle expert Tara Wellington in today's entertainment spotlight. Stay with us. You're listening to Conversation Daily News. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Severus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Lifestyle expert Tara Wellington joined me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to discuss some Earth Day activities all of us can get involved in. Here's a bit of our conversation. As I mentioned, Earth Day is coming up on April the 22nd. Uh, from what I read, over a billion people are expected to take part in some way. What is this that we can do this year for ourselves, Tara? And what's the theme for this year? So the theme for this year is to invest in our planet. So this is all about businesses, uh, the community, citizens, government coming together to support a greener world and conserve wild spaces. So one simple thing that you can do in your own neighborhood is to plant trees. This helps to capture carbon dioxide, lower temperatures, filter pollutants. If you're traveling this summer, another tip is to visit a national park. This is because being in nature helps you appreciate it and want to preserve it. And if you're looking for a place to stay, more than 75% of all travel lodge by Wyndham Hotels are less than an hour's drive from a national park. It's a really great base camp for your next adventure. And the hotels are also a longtime supporter of the National Parks Conservation Association and have an ongoing commitment to help preserve the nature parks along with other sustainability initiatives. This month they have a deal for Earth Day and it is 20% off two nights or more. You can go to travellodge.com for all the details. One thing we hear a lot about Terra of course are greenhouse gas emissions and we know a lot of that does come unfortunately from our food supply chain. What can we do to be able to make our, our greener food choices? Right. So Meatless Mondays is a great place to start. This is not eating meat on Mondays. And it can add more to your healthy plant-based foods for your diet. And by reducing meat, you can help reduce greenhouse gases that impact climate change. You can also choose products that follow climate-friendly techniques to grow their ingredients. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We're about to get on tomorrow's more news. Truth of the Day with Mayor Ellen Teganovich, and of course your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make today amazing. Take care.